Beyonce to Aaliyah to Black Eyed Peas. I swear, if I wrote a list of all of the videos, it would wrap around this room. <laughs> My resume. I don't think I even remember everything I've done. It's crazy. But can you maybe, I don't know, maybe dish with us? No. Maybe an experience or two if you feel so generous today uh, 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 um, that you had to go through as a dancer on set that you just think were just these horrid conditions that should not have been there. Um, I really can't remember uh, a set that was horrid conditions. Oh. I think I was sort of in an era where we were, I remember one of the first movies I worked on was And the Band Played On and it was um, with Richard Gere and I was sort of the young end of the bunch and the rest were seasoned veteran dancers and I literally remember listening to them fight for what was, you know, our rights as dancers and I was so inspired to see them standing up for something and to know that this is what you should do, you know, not just, I think nowadays dancers are so um, thinking about I want to book this gig, I want to get this job, it's about their career, and so it's a little, you know, tunnel vision, where it's like there's a bigger picture, and if you do want to continue to work in the dancer community, whether it be as a dancer or in any facet of dance-related jobs, which can open up doors for anything, people will turn into actors, directors, you know, and so on and so forth, producers, so I think that um, early on I was inspired by these seasoned veterans and now I'm that so if I have any chance to uh, inspire the younger generation and mentor them into knowing what they should be standing up for as far as rights to help progress this industry I'll do that. And it kind of relates to what you were saying earlier about confidence you know a lot of what you do is encouraging people to be confident in who they are. Mm -hmm. I know especially uh, for children with cleft lip and palate that was something that you're very passionate about and been very vocal about that because that's something that you dealt with as a child. And so, do you think that there's a correlation there with, you know, encouraging dancers to take control of their professions and uh, to really take it seriously so that people will also respect them in return just as much as they deserve? So do you see that correlation of here they were fighting this battle for so long and winning it? Do you think that there's more of a confidence there now? Absolutely. In mean, my path, obviously, I had a lot to go through of my journey being that I was born with cleft lip and cleft palate and coming into an industry that's very image based, you know. Um, so early on I think I, I sort of had a crash course in like, okay, you gotta be confident yeah. and step up to what you know are your gifts and your blessings and own them, you know, and um, gratefully I've had a voice in that, you know, when I was on tour with the Pussycat Dolls and we get a chance to all introduce ourselves, I'd say, you know, a lot of you might not know, but I was born with a birth defect and growing up I felt really different. And I'm sure everyone can relate to that, but I invite you to embrace your differences because that's what makes you unique. And the, the roar and the cheer that I got was like, wow. it would give you me really chills. really connect and engage with everyone in that way. Yeah, so I really, you. absolutely, but in, you know, in whatever their struggle is. So in turn, I just really felt like I have to have the, a voice to, you know, spread awareness. And so coming back, where I'm getting really back engaged to the answer community, it's important to kind of make everybody aware of what's going on behind the scenes, not just in the dance gig, so. Yeah, and speaking of behind the scenes, I mean, you've been dancing for as long as you can remember, and, you know, that was long before you became a, you know, singer with the Pussycat Dolls, a recording group, and, um, recording group, not the dance troupe, because you were in both, so you were the original member <laughs> with the dance troupe. And you so did your homework. Yeah, for sure, you know I did. <laughs> And uh, you were, you know, you you were on both sides of the coin, you know, both dancer and singer. And now you're also a mom, you know, so those key motherly skills are they're just to a whole nother level now. Do you feel that you're um, you're also just kind of more protective of your dancers now? Do you, you do? Huh? That's a great way to put it. I think now being a mother has put a different context around everything because if my daughter chooses to go into the dance industry, I would want to have all these things that we've been fighting for for years implemented. So she would be stepping into a situation not fighting the same fights mm -hmm. over and over again. So it, you know, it's bittersweet. Like we did accomplish something with sag after. And at the same time, I feel like we're back to square one with a lot of the issues that we're fighting for. So um, we're just gonna keep pushing. Keep pushing through. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and thanks to your help, just bringing awareness to you know, the audience is out there about what's going on and every industry has issues, you know, with unionization and all of that.
Yes. I had no idea about these conditions that you know dancers yeah. have to face. So it's really fascinating, especially considering that dancers make a video, and videos essentially make a song. So there's such totally. an integral part of the production. Totally.